Hey guys, what's up? It is a Saturday and I am going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day on my fitness pal. I am tracking my calories. I'm eating about 2,300 calories a day, although I will say I have a hard time eating that full amount. So I typically save them till the weekend. So I'm gonna show you what I'm having. So in the mornings for breakfast, I like to keep it really low calorie, really high protein, and pretty filling. So I am having two ounces of chicken breast. So what I do is I buy this product from HEB. It's the Meal Simple Shredded Chicken made in store. It's the rotisserie chicken, and they chop it for you. And so what I like to do is just get me some hot sauce. Where's my hot sauce? Here it is. So I like Texas Pete. So I just grab my hot sauce and then I portion out two ounces of the chicken and that's usually the start of my day. So this is what about two ounces looks like. I use a digital scale to um, figure out how much things weigh. So I'm gonna have this chicken with this hot sauce and probably a cup of coffee. So in my coffee, I like to have two tablespoons of the Nestle Coffee Mate, the French vanilla one. I know that's not really good for me, but I don't add any additional sugar or artificial sweeteners to it. I just like these two tablespoons. Um, and you know, I have to make sure that I measure it out. If I don't, I'll put a half a cup in there and that's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna measure out my two tablespoons full of coffee creamer into about eight ounces of coffee from the Keurig. So I'm gonna be gone from the house for several hours today. So I wanna make sure that I'm prepared for when hunger strikes because it will, especially if I get bored while waiting somewhere. So I'm gonna carry to work a little pre-portioned out. I'm sorry, I'm not going to work today, it's Saturday. I am bringing with me to my errands these little pre-portioned, I portion them, um, and these are the Emerald Roast Dark Chocolate Almonds, and these are really tasty. I'm also going to take an apple with me. So I have an apple, and I'll probably also take one of these bananas. They're perfect right now. This is how I like them because they're nice and sweet. So I'll take one of these with me too. And so this is about 300 calories in snacks. Um, normally I don't like to have that many calories in snacks in the morning, but um, I'll probably be gone until about noon and I'll come home and fix breakfast for my husband and I'll have some of that. I won't have like a full portion of it because I'll probably make him like bacon and eggs. Um, but I might have a couple of strips of bacon and some egg whites or something like that. So that's what I'm taking with me and that's just gonna go in my handbag. Hey guys, welcome back. So um, I've been eating. I did eat all of my snacks as anticipated. I am starting to run a little bit low on energy. So I grabbed um, the Crystal Light with caffeine. I love this stuff. It is five calories per half of a packet. And so normally I just have one of these cups and I fill it up with ice and water and then I just put half a packet in and it's perfect. Um, I usually do drink the whole packet. I just refill my cup, put the rest of the packet in. Um, and I feel like this gives me a pretty good boost for only 10 calories. So I know it's really bad for me, but um, it's got the same artificial stuff that the creamer has, right? Um, the difference is that I'm not drinking calories. It's also got the same artificial stuff that has, um, that's also in like Diet Cokes, and I do drink Coke Zeros, um, but this really helps give me a little pick-me-up. So, um, I am in the kitchen. It's a little bit messy right now but I'm loving the lighting. This is awesome. I am going to cook a little bit of breakfast for my husband, even though it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. He works um, a different shift than me, and so um, this is his breakfast time. So it's gonna be his breakfast 
my lunch. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make him some bacon. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Um, I think that's a lot less messy than doing it on the stove top. There's a lot less cleanup. And then I will make um, some eggs and maybe some tortilla. I personally will probably have like two or three strips of bacon, um, maybe one egg and two egg whites and one tortilla for my lunch. And so like just so that you know, my favorite bacon is this one. Um, the thick cut is the only bacon to me that's worth the calories. You get one fried slice for 60 calories, so I will probably have three of these pieces of thick cut bacon. So um, I do still enjoy bacon on the weekends when I make my husband bacon. I still enjoy tortilla. Um, mostly on the weekend when my husband has tortilla and I make the eggs work. Eggs are good for you anyways. Um, this is not a normal breakfast. I normally eat the, the chicken. This is also not a normal lunch. Um, but for once in a while, it's perfectly fine. Once a week, I think it's healthy to have. If I didn't have bacon, like, like... I wouldn't be able to make it like I couldn't go on and I don't consider this a cheat meal at all I consider this just to be working it into my calories what we used to do though is cook this package of bacon and eat oh oven's done um, we would cook this entire package of bacon and eat it all and to be honest it would probably be me eating most of it so like I bet there's like over a thousand calories in this thing and we would eat that along with grits and eggs and butter and things like that. So I'm being a bit better. This package is now lasting us two um, breakfasts versus just one. Okay, so I'm gonna get to making it and I'll show you my plate when it's all done. So I just wanted to show you guys, we did not end up using this whole package of bacon. I still have seven slices which is going to be enough for another meal. So we will probably have this exact same packet of bacon um, next week. So I'm really excited. It's got a good date on it. It doesn't have to be used until October. So I know that we'll get rid of this by then, but I'm super proud of me and us for not just cooking it to be cooking it and then just eating it because it's cooked, right? So that is a, that's definitely a small win for me. So here is like my first real meal of the day. I have one egg and two egg whites, three pieces of bacon, and one tortilla. Um, I think this will be about three, four, 500 calorie lunch, which isn't bad. So yeah, here we go. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again with a snack. I am about to go to a few more stores. I need to run to Target and I need to run to Hobby Lobby. So I am taking with me a string cheese, just a everyday basic string cheese and probably another banana. banana, water, it's blue, it's another one of those crystal light ones, it's good, it's got caffeine, that makes me happy, I'm tired, so yeah, so I'm about to head out, and I will update you, um, at dinner time, maybe, alright, see you later. Welcome back. So I am back in my kitchen and it is dinner time. It's actually quite late. It's probably about nine o'clock. I don't normally eat dinner quite this late, but sometimes it happens. Um, I just had a really good workout at the gym. I am super hungry. I look a little bit different because I'm makeupless. My hair is wet, squeaky clean. So I am in the mood for pizza. I am always 
in the mood for pizza. And I definitely have a go-to when it comes to going out for pizza, but I also like to make my own pizza at home. So I'm gonna show you how I make my pizza. I'll tell you how many calories it is, and I'm super excited because this is definitely one of my favorite meals and I sometimes eat this several times a week because it's easy, it's good, it's feeling. And I like that I can customize it based upon how many calories I have available for the day um, as well as my taste. So I am going to get started. So I mix this up a lot. First thing that I do is I buy the flat out bread. It's this one. Um, one of these is 130 calories. Um, I don't always get this one. This one was uh, the best tasting that I've had so far, but they have a lighter version that's like under 100 calories, and I usually go for that one. I just happened to pick this one up by accident, but it's really good, and I can fit it into my calories. Another 50 calories is not going to make that big of a difference in my day. So it's the flat out pizza crust. The next thing that I always use is just a tomato sauce. This is um, by my local grocery store, H-E-B. It's their brand. I keep one in the fridge all the time. Um, this has got minimal calories. I don't even really weigh this out because it's so low and I don't use the full amount. Um, one fourth of a cup is 35 calories. I don't use that much, so I don't even weigh this out. The next thing is obviously cheese. I do not eat the super low fat or fat free cheeses. It does nothing for me. I like full fat cheeses or regular cheese. And so I get the mozzarella, just whatever brand, usually my grocery store's brand. And I really like this. I use two servings of this. So one serving is one fourth of a cup. I normally use two and that's about 160 calories. I use turkey pepperoni because you get more bang for your buck with this, although I do prefer regular pepperoni. This is good, it's fine, and, um, and you get more. So I use 17 slices for 70 calories. I usually can't fit 17 on my pizza, so I'll like eat the rest. You know, I can't just leave them in there. So I usually use this. And the last thing that I really like to put on my pizza is jalapenos. Uh, just whatever type of jalapeno slices you get is fine. Um, I enjoy those. I don't really count them. The amount that I put on is like equal to two calories. Um, I don't think that's a big deal, so I don't count those. So when it's all said and done, I should have about a 400 calorie pizza, but I'll let you know the actual calorie count. And this is something that I can fit into my day most days. Um, and it's a good size pizza. Today, I could fit two of these into my day if I wanted to because I have not eaten up to my calorie goal. I have about 1,200 calories left to eat for the rest of the night. I do plan on saving a few calories for tomorrow because I will go and probably get something to eat with my husband or eat something I don't normally eat um, and not want to worry about it as much. I also overindulged on Friday when I went to have drinks with friends. And so I'm also kind of making up for that. Um, and I did work out today too. I'm still kind of building up. I've only been working out now for two days. So I don't really want to count that into my calories. So I'm going to put this pizza together. The first thing I do is throw the crust into the oven, get it nice and crispy. And then I just put on my toppings. I put it back in for about three minutes and it's done. Literally takes me five total minutes, maybe six, to weigh out all of my ingredients and get it together. It takes longer to preheat the oven to get this pizza done. So I'm gonna make it and then I'll show you what it looks like after I do that. Guys, pro tip, always use wax paper or parchment paper when you're putting anything in the oven. I do it with my bacon in the morning. I if I roast vegetables, I use parchment paper and I'm gonna put my pizza on the parchment paper that literally makes cleanup a breeze. All I do is throw away the paper. You don't even have to wipe down the, the cooking vessel, whatever it is that you're using. So, parchment paper. All right guys, here is the finished product. It is just under 400 calories and it is delicious. 
This is like my number one favorite meal. All right guys, so it is almost bedtime, but I have about 900 calories that I haven't eaten today. So I'm gonna have a bedtime snack. I'm gonna do about 200 calories of something just to kind of make sure I'm over the minimum that I need to eat per day to like live and stuff. So I'm gonna do pop chips. So these are really good. I'll probably do two serving sizes and then call it a night. So yeah, one serving is 130 calories of the pop chips. The white cheddar ones are my favorite, but I've got a bag of like a caramel one in there too. I really like them all. So that's what I'll be having. So I'm gonna eat that and then I'm gonna go on to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was interesting. I'll see you later. Bye.